This is the Sandmark anamorphic lens. Now, if you're asking yourself, what on earth is an anamorphic lens? Basically, it's that super widescreen, very cinematic, light leaky J.J. Abrams look. That, that's it. Think Star Trek Into Darkness, just, you know, tastefully done. Now that whole entire intro sequence was shot on this lens and this, shot on iPhone. So pretty much this will step up your smartphone video game in a way that you can't even step up an actual camera. I say this for a couple reasons. First being an actual anamorphic lens is incredibly expensive. We're talking firstborn or like all your organs, which doesn't really make sense because if you sell all your organs, then you can't really enjoy the, the anamorphic lens. That was a terrible joke. And in addition, most anamorphic lenses also mount PL. So you're probably gonna be throwing this thing on an Alexa or a RED. So all that said, it's an expensive build. Definitely not consumer. But that's where this really shines because this is 159 bucks. That price also includes a case that you can mount the lens on as well as a clip, which basically ensures that you can place it onto any smartphone camera, allowing that you line it up correctly. So for $159 getting you that anamorphic look compared to easily spending over 20, 30 grand for an actual like anamorphic lens, it's a pretty solid option. Now talking mechanics, as I mentioned before, this shoots a lot wider. That's the anamorphic look. So in the stock camera app on your iPhone or whatever phone you're using, it's going to look squeezed. So what I did is I downloaded the Filmic Pro app that has a native profile that allows you to stretch it back out to give you that 21 by nine aspect ratio. It is 15 bucks, but you know, it's, it's a well worth it app. If not, you can just bring it into Final Cut Pro or iMovie or whatever and just manually de-squeeze it. So that said, you have options. And I mean, I have mentioned this before and a lot of people laugh at me for saying this, but shooting wider makes things look better. It just, it looks more cinematic. It looks more professional. It just, it looks better. Good wide footage, you can't beat it. Now, the second part of what makes that anamorphic look is the flares. It's very streaky and long, sometimes girthy, depending on your light source. I'm gonna go murder myself. Now, if you watch my iPhone XR video, I actually had an adapter on the back of my lens, which gave that anamorphic streaky look. In my opinion, it's really cool. It's it's almost kind of sci-fi-ish, and it's it, it gives an added bit of spice to just regular footage. And I, I will say this again, it's nice in moderation moderation. But coming a full 180 back to the lens, this thing is a tank. As someone that has dropped many a Sandmark lens in my time, uh, these things have proven to be incredibly durable. And in addition, there is a thread on the front, so you can use those Sandmark uh, neutral density filters or polarizers, smack those right on the front, and you're up and running. I will say with those neutral density filters, there's a tiny bit of vignetting with this lens, but it's nothing that post-production can't fix. Now a little bit about me, before I dove into film, I was actually going to be an industrial designer. And from that perspective, these things are incredible. Between the attention to detail and also the fact that it's, as I mentioned before, incredibly durable, but also it's not heavy and it's not bulky, that's a huge plus for on-the-go usage. So in short, you cannot go wrong with Sandmark lenses. I have used the whole entire lineup and this new addition is nothing short of amazing. Plus, it's a solid option to get a very expensive, very sought after look for a fairly inexpensive price point. And that's all she wrote. A huge thank you to Sandmark for sending me this as well as making this video possible. I will leave a link for this guy down in the description. And that is in fact it. That is the Sandmark anamorphic lens, a nifty little film tool. Yes, I use the word nifty, but overall a really solid, awesome device. And also as a side note, Sandmark now supports iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro with a full range of cases and lens support. And that is that. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned, take it easy. Bye.